23% of it. Oh wait, that's not all right. That's military time. I was gonna say I have not been playing this game for 21 hours <laughs> yet. Not evil, just incredibly stupid. Okay, so I just unlocked that. I still have to find this bird. I keep forgetting I have a sprint button now. Not that it really even matters to use it. <laughs> there hasn't really been an instance where I needed to use it. I find it interesting that this stuff respawns, because I know I've gotten that before. I wonder if that bird's back where it was. that weird sensation again where I'm just like really disoriented. <laughs> if he's back in the same spot, he, yeah. He's over here. I still don't know how you were supposed to actually get him. Like, the best way I can think of is, I need to get into that, but it's, it's surrounded by that fence. So, oh, I'm on there. Well, I can't climb up it from there, but can I actually get into that? I think I can, actually. So let me go back down. So how are you all doing today? got owns? I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I wonder, can I jump on this and then jump off? I don't think I can. Web design. Ah, cool. Hi, Beta. Uh, feeling a little bit under the weather, not in the conventional sense, but otherwise I'm Good. Hope you're doing well. Let me try it. Nah, 
Oh, they will! I don't have enough cloth. Shit. Not that it really matters. So you can jump off of that. I, I have no idea if this is what you're actually supposed to do, though. I can't think of any other way to do this. Because there's no other way to get into that thing. And that's the only way that I can... that I see that I can actually get to that bird. That's good. Damn it, I missed again. There's gotta be an easier way to do this. I don't even think you could grab onto that. I think I actually would actually have to get in there. Like, I still don't understand how you're supposed to get to this bird any other way than the way I'm doing it. Only thing I can think of is by killing him. And you can't kill him because you just scare him off. Only other thing I can think of. I'm I'm legitimately stumped on how to handle this. Maybe I could do it this way. No, because she doesn't she can't turn around. On this, or maybe she does. No, but she still can't jump far enough. I can't get the bird now because I scared it off, but I have, uh, I'm so perplexed. Okay, well, there is that, but I don't think I can get to that from here. Nope. I also can't get on top of this again. Okay, maybe if I don't press any buttons, I'll stay on it. I just want to see how I can get up there, and then I'll just respawn him. Great. Now I run the risk of jumping on that thing instead, and probably scaring the bird off. Oh my god. How did they make this so, like, difficult? It's just a bird. This is probably the most challenging side mission I think I've done so far. I can't even do it right. Like, and that's the thing, too. You can't jump off of that rope. You can only drop. So if you grab it, you're fucked. And you probably will scare the bird off when you do that. You can't hurt the thing, because even if you try, you just scare it off. I don't know how, but I managed to actually jump on top of that thing. She's not doing it anymore, though. It was like the first time. Yeah, like, see? She always goes for this now. There is no other way that... It... There is no other way that I can do this. That's probably the closest that I can actually get to getting up there. I just can't figure it out. There's only two ways that I see that I could probably get up there. Using that tree branch, which 
I almost jumped on the side of this thing, but I keep jumping on the rope, and I can't actually jump off the rope. I can only grab it and then drop. The other way that I've seen where I think I could get onto here is by this, but it's almost impossible because of this line. Because I don't think you can grab onto the boards right there. So, either I'm doing this entirely wrong, or they just designed this very badly. I'm kind of actually thinking it's the former, not the latter. And they just, it's just incredibly hard to see what I'm actually supposed to do. Let me see this. Let me see if I can even jump onto that thing, because it's easier. If I can't jump onto this, like if... It'll just make me slide off. Yeah, see? They, you can't even jump onto that thing. You can only jump onto the rope. That's not, it's, that's not a grounds thing. It's not somewhere where you can stand. You'll just slip right off. So the only thing that I, that I think I can do is this. It's incredibly hard, incredibly tedious, and I kind of just feel like I want to progress because I'm not going to be able to figure, I'm not going to be able to do this right now. Like, I honestly don't know what else they want me to do here. They want me to get that bird. That bird is marked as the side mission. Locate the carrier bird. I located him. I'm trying to get to him. But I can't. The only other thing I can think of is that when I do scare him off, I'm supposed to follow him in that direction. Because, as it stands, it's impossible to actually reach that bird. Well, it's a side mission. I want to get this side mission finished. I'm not even sure if it's worth the headache, but... Like, if I am supposed to just scare him off and see where he flies, I kind of wish the game would tell you that. Like, just have Lara say, it flew in a different direction, maybe I should go there. But it doesn't. It doesn't really give you direction for the side mission. It doesn't give you good direction. And I don't know how to make it return. So... I'm probably just gonna have to leave and enter the area. You see, it's, it's not there anymore. Did it, wait, did it fly back? Okay, so... Okay, it's up there this time. And now I have to play with the wolves. There's always two of them, and whenever I kill the one, the other one becomes a coward and leaves. Alright. That one's probably more... This one's probably easier to get to. <laughs> or maybe I have to scare him off a second time. I mean, that could be it. That's the only other thing I can think of to actually get to this bird eventually is... If I can't reach him, to scare him off and then follow where he's gonna go next. 
until I eventually can reach him. reach him. So I probably just have to scare him off again. Oh! Yep. It's flying in that direction. Seems like he's now perched over there. I think I have to go all the way around this way in order to get up there. Was I even up here before? Because this actually does not look like an area I got to before. He's on yet another perch that I can't actually get to, so I'm gonna have to probably scare him off again. I guess that's all this quest is, is that wait until he gets somewhere where you can actually reach him. Because otherwise you're not gonna be able to get him. He's not moving this time. It's a little odd. I'm afraid of killing him because if I do, then I might have to restart the whole thing over. Because this is such a pain in the ass, I really don't want to do that. So can I use scare him this way? No, I can't do that. So I guess he just likes it up there and he wants me to kill him. Because it doesn't matter what I do. Oh, oh, there he goes. Please don't tell me that he's going to go back to where he was the first time. Because that would mean that I did something wrong. He's going back to where he was, wasn't he? Isn't he? Oh no, wait! I think he went on top of the, uh, the mill this time. Yeah, he didn't go back to where he was. So I think this is where I can actually get him. So how do I actually get to that point up there? Can I actually do it this way? Oh. I also can't do that. So I guess since I can't reach him this way, I have to scare him yet again. Which again kind of sucks. I hope this ends soon. I 
Like, I, I, I honestly can't figure out what they actually want me to do. If I'm even doing it right. And when I can actually get this goddamn herd. Because every time you try and get on these logs, you just slide down. You can't jump on the ends of these. And there's also nothing to indicate that I have to do something. So I didn't even know I could actually do that. Was I supposed to do that? Was... is that like... was there more than one way to actually finish this? Like, I didn't know you could actually kill the bird. I thought you were supposed to grab it and then get whatever what was needed off of it. But they didn't say that I failed it. It just said locate, it didn't say kill or grab the intelligence. So... Is this guy gonna be pissed? Did I do something really bad? I have this strange feeling that I fucked up. If that's what you were supposed to do this whole time, then, like, holy shit. This was so... This was, like... The directions were so poorly done. We need those messages. Found your bird, finally. Here's the message it had. Yes. This is exactly what we need. Supply lines. Patrol routes. We'll prepare an ambush. We're in your debt, Lara. All of us. I, I don't get that one. I just don't. I didn't know that you were supposed to kill the bird this whole time. I thought you were supposed to let it live and grab it. Like, um... It never said... All it said was find and locate the bird. Never once did it say it to kill it. Because I thought that they needed it. I mean, they needed the intelligence. That was understood. But they never told you kill the bird. They told you locate it. So, it's not bugged. Because killing it was what I was supposed to do. If I could give advice to the developers, they will probably never watch this. I'm not nearly that big. Uh, if the developers were to watch this, maybe when you get to your next patch, go back to the side mission and reword what you're supposed to do. Because those were very terribly written instructions. I had no clue that I was supposed to kill that bird. I thought I was just supposed to get it to a spot where I'm supposed to grab it. Like, uh, it is understood that you're supposed to get the intelligence from it. But I thought I was supposed to physically get my hands on it so I could take the intelligence from the bird. I don't know. That was... That was I don't know who, like, I can understand that, like, sometimes you just have, like, a brain fart, and you don't really know how to put, like, words into instru- how to put, like, words to instructions that you're supposed to give. Like, sometimes I just incredibly, like, 
sometimes I just like can't like get it through my head. How am I supposed to explain this? So I can kind of understand that they fucked up there, but they really should go back and say, find the bird and kill it so you can get its intelligence. Because it's not understood that you were actually supposed to kill the bird. The mountain peaks 100%ed. Glacial caverns 100%ed. I don't have all of the stuff in the Siberian wilderness. So I want to go back there and get the base camps literally right here. So we're off to a good start. But in all honesty, that's still one minor thing in a game that's actually very, very well done so far. Enemies killed or knocked out from crafted handheld objects yield more XP. I might want to get that one, actually. I don't know. Actually, that might come in handy. I have shotgun, but... Wait, did that say 50% complete? Oh, that's why. Each handle? Instant prying of doors or strong boxes. Ah. All right, I don't need anything else. I do, however, need to sit back down. So I can do fast travel. Here. This is kind of cool, too, that they... They now have uh, different outfits for Lara that actually have their own stats on them, or different like, or like hand or like different abilities. Because, for one, I like the even though it's not really, it's different customization. It's, it is, but it isn't. But also, I, I just like the fact that your character can look different. Like, they're not stuck in the same outfit the whole game. Wait, where is it? That's oh, up there. Alright. The madman continues on. I do not know what drives him. We pass through frozen mountains at the edge of the world as people are dying. Every day, I pass graves or bodies left along the faint trail. I have grown thin and hard, but I am close now. My, my horse is dead, the mare that had been with me since the campaigns against the Bulgars. I butchered her and carried the meat on my back. 
but I am so close. I can hear them singing just over the ridge, a joyous sound on the wind. Our prophet will be dead within the week, and I will return to the Order of Trinity, triumphant. Just one more day, oh, and I will be upon him. Damn. Zealotry much? I can actually get to there from here. Why is he calling now? It's not an important call, I'm just letting it go to voicemail. Shells, and I don't even have a shotgun yet. For a year I have ridden with an army of Mongols, as envoy from the Order of Trinity. The Khan is a great warlord, despite his heathen ways. Under my influence, I have helped them topple nations, burn cities, and kill princes, all in search of the Prophet. Our slaughter of the Rus was not in vain. For among the spoils, we at last found the map. And now, this very morning, after a season in the mountains, we saw buildings rising from a green valley surrounded by ice. We have found Kitesh. I tell the Khan of the riches that will be his, and that alone drives him on. But the real victory will be for God. When we purge the Prophet's lies from the earth, and at last, the divine source will be ours. Some other documents. Let's go to the cave. Oh good, I can't get to this one. Thumb ring for a Mongolian archer, allowing them to shoot quickly while still mounted on horseback. This must have belonged to a warrior of some stature. Typically, I would have, like. Typically, uh, I talk to him and stop the stream for a few minutes, but my friend never likes to talk for her. Just a few minutes. He actually always typically likes to talk for like a good half hour. I like talking to him too, so, but, and that's also why I don't want to talk to him right now. What's this? I can distract people with a radio? Use guns or explosives. What about that? Is there like a? You just I think someone's out there. Oh. His hands here and now. Fire in the hole. It kind of appeared out of nowhere. if I can burn up this. Oh, 
parts. A Mongolian tug. A banner of sorts to be affixed to a spear. This one looks like it's seen some violence. I don't see any blood on it. I got that one. I have a document and a monolith left. At least that's what they're telling me. Whoa! Kind of spazzed out a little there. Oh yeah, I remember this. I think my Russian is now high enough. Russian or Greek, I forget. Most of the writing is in praise of a military victory, but it looks like they left something nearby. Oh, there we go. Revealed some coin caches. Three to be exact. I'll work clockwise. Eventually, I gotta buy from that guy, but, like, those prices that he had were really high, so I wanna make sure I have plenty before I visit him again. from these. This is that one. Oops. Eh, why not? You know what? I just will take some shotgun shells. I will have some when I uh, finally get it. There it is. It's right down there. It's all the coin caches. I need to get another document. And I'll be done with this area. There we go. <gasps> Excuse me. Up oh, there. We have told the Mongolian. people of the Valley City that we will attack at dawn. But we shall advance behind the Karash at moonrise. The captives we kept from the battles in the west will be our shields as we advance. Few survived the long march across the mountains, but those that live will serve their purpose to the horde. horde. The city sparkles, a gift not yet given. We will take what is ours and march home with our spoils. Every time I hear the word horde, I'm going to think of, wow, I can't stop that. <laughs> 
Oktar, Ogar, and all that. Is this 100%ed now? Yep, it's 100. So... That's only 51% and all that stuff that I got there already. Like this. And I think all I can do now is progress. Blink. Let's just give this is a delay before health begins regenerating. Ah. Actually, there's a camp right where I can talk to that guy. Hey, Vlad, how you doing? He might have a shotgun now that I think about it. I know he has an assault rifle. Hey, welcome back. Have you found any more gold? I've got gear for you. I don't think they're on to us yet, but try to be discreet, okay? I only have 70 right now. Rope Ascender. So that was that thing from the last game that lets me climb up and down faster. Pistol Suppressor. Rifle Grenade Launcher. Laser Sight. Actually, I think I might want that one. Commando Outfit. Black tank top, camo pants, tactical gear. Now it doesn't say it gives a bonus, so maybe what I have is good for right now. But I'll get that later. I do want this. You can't get that one on the open market, not for a while. It's real bleeding edge. Because the, uh, as we, as it is now, the, uh, the accuracy on the damn assault rifle is terrible. So, that would actually be, make it so much better. So much more useful. There is a mission available. <laughs> Maybe the box is the outfit. Another side quest here. It's just really far down, even though we were basically right on top of him. that happened because I thought I was dead. But he's at that cave that we brought him to. That's right. Oh shit. I mean, that wouldn't have killed me, but that would have hurt. Wait. Where is he at? Oh yeah, he... That's right. Yeah, he's inside that cave. It kind of threw me off because... He was in, he was literally, it literally looked like he was in something.
Not quite confident enough with my Russian to make Any this level out, three. but it seems to show a map of some sort. Oh, you made a little base in here. Ah, uh, you're back. We could use you. Hello. The Soviets abandoned this place in a hurry, and they left salvage all over the valley. Put it to good use. I'm here to help. What can I do? Our first task is to learn all we can about the invaders. We need any information you can gather in the old prison. I won't lie to you, it will be dangerous. But that information is worth the risk. Will you help us? I'll head there as soon as I'm able. I'll be here. And thank you. Rifle suppressor. I have a feeling that doing all this stuff early is gonna make the uh is gonna make the stuff later in the game like incredibly easy. Which isn't a bad thing. I would rather get the extra stuff and make the game incredibly easy than the game be uh, balanced around the fact that if you don't get all of the extra stuff, they make it incredibly difficult for you. I can get that strong boss, can I? I can't do that from here. forgetting you can sprint. Although when she sprints, she runs a little weird. <laughs> Plus, if, uh, if the side stuff that you're doing is actually fun, like, th this pretty much is. Then, uh, it's also not a bad thing. Like, it, this doesn't really feel like fluff. I mean, there's not much to it in terms of story, but... Broadhead climbing. I guess that's to get over there. Is it literally right here? With the strong boxes all the way down there. Probably in that cave. I'm not going back down there for that. Fuck that. Just want to make sure I'm going the right way. Got that one, right? Yeah. Uh, that's not the way I'm supposed to go. All right. Right? Yeah. How do I get back up there? 
Oh, there's a camp there. All right. I think that's the only way I can <clears throat> I can get there. Maybe I can. Yes. This way, maybe? Oh, yeah, I think I do go this way. too good at these types of games. Uh, although I think if I were to play the next level up, I would get my ass handed to me a lot. Not exactly one for pulling off subtlety well. What is over there? They just make it incredibly hard to do that. Yeah, it's, it's in that building. How the fuck do you get to that building? Oh, alright. I did get it. Okay. I was going the right way. God, they're giving me all these shotgun shells. I guess I get the shotgun later on? I mean... It, if they give me more of these coins, I could eventually buy it. Hell, I could have gotten that first, but, like, the assault rifle is, like, really shitty unless, uh, unless you get those laser sights. Alright, next one is back this way. here I need to get anyway, besides the mission, side mission, from the looks of it. Yeah, because I miss that survival cache, and there's two laptops I can destroy if I can find them. Again, they're not marked on the map, so I'm not going to... 
uh, bust my ass looking for them. If I want to go back and I like really want to 100 percent the game, then I'll do that. But I'll do that on my own time. And I'll probably just look up a YouTube video. Because there's a there's a there's a problem when you do um like unmarked collectible or uh, unmarked like side quests. When you wanna go back and like get the rest of them, you don't remember the ones you did get. So you have to retrace your steps and look for all of them over again. And see which one you didn't get or ones. Right here. Alright. And I don't really find doing that to be very fun, and I don't really want to waste my time. Uh, if you could eventually buy something in game that would reveal the locations of them on the map. And, like, it doesn't have to be right away. It could be, like, near the end of the game, if you want. Then I would actually go back and bother getting them all. Or at least on stream, anyway. Alright, I got them all there, so now I gotta go back to the camp. And those unmarked collectibles... It doesn't seem like they would really give you anything other than experience, which isn't bad, but it's not enough of a, uh... Considering that everything else gives you experience and different items and everything like that, it's really not necessary. You're not making the game any easier or harder for yourself. By not doing them. Cave were they in? I think maybe this one. It's the best to get to them. It's a little farther up. But that was the right one that I was supposed to take. did you learn? I think these are what you were looking for. Yes. Yes. This will help us plan our resistance. We are grateful for all of your help. Take this, and travel lightly. This valley can be dangerous in the best of times. New weapon attachments. Does he have another one? Greetings. Hello. About any of these guys. Greetings. Nah. Oh, looks like I'm finally done with this part. 
Can I even get to that? Not from this dungeon. Or er, dungeon. This cave. From the back, at the slight angle like that, sprinting always looks weird in video games. I mean, it looks a little bit better in this game, but in a game like Mass Effect 3, it looks like they shit their pants. Like, it doesn't matter which, like, shepherd you use, they always, like, perpetually look like that. Yeah, right, I need the knife. I'm still wondering why this cave stole is not transparent. Uh oh. Oh, this is why. Got contact! They're starting to put enemies in this area. Damn it, I shouldn't have used that thing. Oh wait, there's another one. Good. Although that thing's like right above it, so... I don't know. Maybe I don't need to do this. Hey, it look cool. And so were his followers. Level 3 Greek. I think I need level 3 Russian, though, for that one monolith. Looks like this was abandoned in a hurry. The Soviets find something down there. Oh. down below. Sounds like a great volume. Two ways I can go. This kind of indicates that that would be certain death. No, wait, there's a, uh, there's a thing up there. Oh. I have to go that way. <laughs> a coin with an image of a city stamped in gold. And there's the prophet. This was likely an official coin of Katesh.
its icon cast in gold. The metal workers of the city started to develop their own style, but it's still similar to Byzantine craftwork. Got to be part of the works. Oh, I guess I jump on it. There's coins down there. What will that accomplish if I jump on it? Oh, I think I know what that might do. I have to drop at the right time. Helping in the water. Hi, CC. Got a couple of. Oh! Couple of coins, and there's more down here. I still think that's. I still like that. She fixes her hair. What is this thing? An oil cask. I'm guessing that if I shoot this, it will blow this up. I hope I didn't miss anything back there. Oh, there is a base camp down here though, that's interesting. Polished mag. Reload speed increased. So I, I guess I can't take the, uh, the suppressor off, but I don't think the suppressor does anything bad. Like it doesn't, um, it doesn't decrease the range or the re or increase the uh, recoil or anything like that. rate of fire might actually be pretty good. Another skill point. Enemies killed or knocked out from him. Increased detonation radius. That might actually be good. Keep checking the map, map thinking Waters you're gonna find something. Everything. At this rate, there won't be much left in a few decades. It's a system. That's why this place is so big. Hold 
holding water back. There's the oil flask. We know what to do. Like goes up that far. Can't go that way, so actually have to dive. I think if you get it high enough, it'll start moving the windmill. Like it oh, it moved that one. Go that way. Why do I keep checking the damn map? Okay, that just leads back to here. All right. I already established that, Lara, but... Thank you for telling me, in case I didn't already figure that out. Alright, there is another one. Somewhere. I wonder if that's timed and let's see. Yeah, it does. Okay. Oh! Oh, I know what you have to do. That's why these are all here. more like a tomb than a cave. Or at least it's in the same style as a tomb. Because I've never seen ones this advanced before. Oh, God damn it. She mean go through this is when I raise the water level further, I can get back up over here. Music's really uh, picking up right now, too. The 
This should be more than enough oil to light the passages below, but be careful transporting it. We have not perfected the refining process, and it is still volatile. You will know the man who supervises the construction. We all do. Without his knowledge of the Earth, none of us would have survived along the difficult journey. Do not linger. And if he asks for word of his wife and child, feign ignorance. He cannot accept that they perished during our exodus, and expects them to arrive any day. We need his genius, and I fear if he saw the truth, we might lose him entirely. All right. 